Hello. Welcome to the first installment of probably many of uh, Red Dead Online Roleplay. Basically, I've joined a server called Wild RP. It's kind of like no pixel, but for Red Dead. And I'm roleplaying as a character called Scrump Togans. <sighs> and at this point, there's there are so many intertwining storylines. It's hard to just quickly lay out what the heck is happening. I strongly suggest you come see this live. It's like a it's like an improv show. It's like a long form improv show where everyone's playing only one character. It's it's wild. Very cool, spontaneous, funny, touching, dramatic moments that are all happening all the time. So check out the Twitch. But if you must see this condensed clip, basically, <laughs> this is uh, the starting point to uh, Scrum Targans' re relationship, I guess, like like meeting of this character, Miss Rowe. And just as a fair warning, you know, this is a longer video, something that you must know if you want to get into this whole RP watch, you know, content. It's a slow burn, baby. You get so get yourself a little snack and just sit tight, okay? Let the burn burn because this is just set up. It's it's a funny, it's funny, it's good, but it's a setup to the next episode that I'm gonna try and edit soon. But in the end, come see it live. Okay, goodbye, enjoy. Gah. There he is, this beautiful boy. All right, go ahead and enter our damn world. Unbelievable. Wow. I hope I don't break the law by doing that. Looky here. Use a bow? I don't have a bow. You think I got a bow? I just had to. Oh yeah, I just had to. I just saw that beauty and I just had to take a crack at it. I know it's probably out of bounds to do it in town, but well, I figured nobody would mind. It's so early in the morning. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might have been another one of them damn cats down by the docks. All right. <laughs> no, it was just a beauty with a big old rack on it. Oh shit! How you doing, Roxanne? Yeah, I'm doing all right. How about you? Doing mighty fine. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Toggins. We just met the other day. Took a little trip up to Colta. Howdy, ma'am. Or Mr. morning to you. Oh, uh, yeah, morning to you too. What's your name, sorry? Toggins. Scrap Toggins. Toggins. All right, hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Roxanne, but you can call me Ro. All right, Ro. All right. Well, fuck, I'm seeing that you've got a fucking cougar before. Not me, that's this fella right over here. Yeah, no, yeah, I killed a cougar in town earlier, but, uh, yeah, you got himself a, uh, looks like a nice little elk or something. Just leave it there. I'm sure another fucking cougar or maybe even the old black bear that likes to come through here will probably have a munch on it at some point. It's right. fine. Well, it's my gift to Mother Nature. Well, look at that. That's real kind of you. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go. I'm caring about the environment and stuff, I guess. That's true. World gives, so... Might as well give something back after what I done took. Yeah, you're, you're a giver. In the right scenario, yes. No, right. No, I was just checking. Yeah, I figured it was a worthy <laughs> question to ask. Oh yeah, very worthy. You must oh, know. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, you definitely know if somebody's a giver or a receiver. 
That's true. You know that the instant things get, uh, well, to the right set. That's right. Sometimes it's just about making sure that, you know, the, the mood is perfect. Yeah, well, everybody wants their needs met. Be it uh, well, exactly. out here on the plains or somewhere else, Miss Rowe. Yeah, something like that, you know. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing odd, wrong you know. with it. Nah, nah, it's nature. Everything here is nature. Everything here I do is natural. See? Just ask this oh. fella. Just that fella here. We went up on a trip up to up on a mountain. It's cold as hell, but all natural. Well, we did. That. We did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a good way to bond together, I guess. Going up in the snow, being our natural. Yeah, two fellers just having a nice time. I must admit, I don't know where his Rolling mind was, the but snow. well, a little bit of this and that. But I must admit, uh, would have been nicer to have a lady along with us. Well, you know, we can definitely go roll around in the snow if you'd like at some point. Well, well, hey there, Miss Rowe. I, I might take you up on that. Well, all right, as you should. You know, I don't <laughs> offer these things for free. You know, every day at least. Sometimes. Not all the time. Every so often. Anyway. You, you trying to tell me this is a transactional thing? Right. Yeah. Is this a transactional sort of thing we're talking about here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know. Tit for tat. Isn't that, isn't that how it works? I ain't too proud for that. All right. Well, there you go. See? Okay, well, uh, you know, what kind of, uh, work <laughs> what are you is doing going on? Here? Well, I'm trying to find that, uh, the answer to that very question, you see. I'm new to these here parts, and, well, well as to what I'm going to do to make my dollars, that's an opening question. Well, that's I, always a good question to ask. I see, I see. And, uh, Purely curiosity's sake, are you thinking more along the lines of, uh, you know, good, honest day's work, that sort of thing, you know, swinging a pickaxe around the mines, or uh, you're a little open to getting your hands dirty? Well, let's just say my moral compass is malleable. Anyway, what type right, of work are y'all in? Y'all in, uh, you get your hands dirty or you do more honest work? What you say? You know, uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, but if you're looking to make some money, there's uh, this little thing called moonshine. You heard of it? Oh, heard of it? Yeah, I sample some every now and then. Well, fortunately, there are lots of folk in the crossing who are looking to buy moonshine, right? There's a lot of little speakeasies and stuff scattered around and uh, a lot of opportunity to make some extra cash. If that's something you're interested in. Consider me very interested. Well, there is a little bit of grunt work, sure, because you got to make the damn stuff, but uh, I think it's a might bit more exciting, as well as uh, more profitable than mining. Can I get interest you in a cigarette? Well, hell yeah, I was just patting myself down because I thought I bought some, but I guess I done smoked them all. I said get moving. What you doing circling around here? Quit side out of me freak oh listen everybody here does that i swear they just don't know how to keep their eyes straight ahead thank you kindly man yeah no worries at all you must have seen me patting down my vest well, i'm an observant one plus i also just you know find that it's kind of like a bit of etiquette, you know? Somebody else is lighting up a cigarette. Don't you feel like you need to do it too, you know? It's like a... What do you, what do you, what do you call it? Like camaraderie or something like that. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect such, such civility this far uh, north of St. Denis. You're acting like a real city lady. Oh, fuck. I'm far from it, mate. Yeah. Me too, I suppose. Although one day... Might be nice to put on myself a twin tail coat, act all fancy like, drink from a cup with my pinky out. I'll tell you what, I, I have myself a fancy outfit. I put it on for one day and that was it for me. I said, fuck this. I, I refuse to, you know, look like a pig dressed in velvet. I'm good. You ain't no <laughs> pig, Miss Rowe. Well, shucks. 
Far Thanks, from it. You're so hard on yourself. <laughs> Listen, all right? I have skills. I won't deny it. I have skills in a lot of different areas in life. However, I, I, if somebody asks me to dress myself nice and, you know, actually be able to stand there and feel like I belong with, you know, the big fancy crowds, I, I think I would rather She's shit Australian. myself dysentery and die. I, I'm not. It's not my thing. Fair enough. All I was off saying is, might be nice just once, you know, feel like some big shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, it would be. But at the same time, you know, a lot of the time I just feel like a lot of rich people, you know, fuckwits. They, they're just blowing hot air up each other's asses, you know what I mean? They're just sitting there, you know, Dutch ovening each other's balloon knots, and I'm not having it. Dutch oven? Yeah. You what ever you heard make, of Dutch oven? Would you make hot crust buns or something like that? I mean, if you've got the right ingredients, why wouldn't you? Especially seeing as how hot and steamy the rip. Anyway, we are getting off subject. You know, we. we... <laughs> I thought no, we no, was no. talking about moonshine. Yeah, we're we definitely are. talking about we moonshine. Are. There is money to be made there. See, see, that's the thing. Is that uh, I would not consider us particularly city folk or anything like that. No, we. Uh, we just got a bit of decorum, right? That's the real difference between. Uh, uh, so maybe some of them cowboys out west and that sort of thing, right? Is that, uh, we like to make money. We like to have a good fucking time doing it. Well, hell, count me in. What do I need to do to get involved in something like that? Well, first thing we have to do is, uh, acquire uh, some material for that mash. Now, there's a couple places, right? We can get ourselves some uh, corn or wheat, something like that. What do you think, Roxanne? We think we want to head down to uh, Braithwaite, maybe? Yeah, it seems like a good idea. I don't see why not. We going to buy it with our change, or we going to take it by other means? We are going to, uh, well, acquisition it without spending any money. Put it that way. I'm fine with that. Just work in the fields, mate. Nothing wrong with that. We are but humble farmers. That's right. Precisely. It's fucking turkeys. You know, just earlier today, I said sorry to somebody, but then for some reason, my brain thought the word gobble. I guess because turkeys were around, and so I said sobble to someone. <laughs> sobble? I swear to Christ, that came out my mouth just but earlier today. Oh, that is fantastic. What the fuck? I don't know. Maybe I'm a wordsmith. Maybe I'm a veritable Shakespeare and I'm coming up with new uh, lexicon, as it were. Shit, I mean, you could be. Maybe you'll uh, start a trend or something, saying, going around saying sobble, where it's like you say sorry to somebody, but really you're, you know, subconsciously telling them to gobble a dick or something. I'm not sure. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a handshake with a knife in the back kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so sobble. And Nothing they... else, you're going to confuse the shit out of them for a moment, so that's the uh, advantage. <laughs> All right, I'll try it out on the next person we run into. All right, sounds good. All right. Julius, right? Yeah, yeah. Julius Bradshaw, pleasure to uh, properly make your acquaintance. Yeah, you've been, uh, you've been in the crossing for quite some time. You certainly sound like you know your way around. Oh, I have been here uh, a long, long time. It's funny, I only meant to really be just sort of a, a passing through kind of thing, and it ended up growing on me. What can I say? I will admit, it hadn't been too long, but this place does have a certain allure to it. That it does, that it does. The crossing keeps you here. That it does. That it does. Y'all ain't together, are you? If y'all are, I, I'm liable to regret all my flirtations previously. As overt no, as they were. No, no, don't worry about that. No, we are, are not together. Also, uh, no, I would say, say we, we run together. How about that? 
I said, all right. I just want to make sure, man to man, I wasn't encroaching on any territory. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Not to presume it was reciprocated. Hey, Roxanne's real firecracker. Good luck with that one. Well, I like it when things go boom. <laughs> Fantastic. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. Pussy on him, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sorry about that. Jesus. <laughs> oh, you're all right. No, you're all right. You Got to start using hand signals. Sobble. Going that way. Oh, wait, take a right? No, I go left. <laughs> Shows it's how good bad. those those hand signals are. <laughs> They're real good hand signals. Look, here you go. Look, there you go. go ah, that way. Perfect. There you go. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. Go on this way. All right now. See safety first. Well, I'm all about safety. I reckon so. That's a that is the uh, vibe I tend to get from you. You're a safe lady. That's right. Safety at all times. You see that? I yes. did. That was a What's horse going? possessed. Yeah, I was right off the damn road. <laughs> Gathering up the corn. Gathering up the corn. We gonna do something with it. So we're gonna we're gonna get the corn. Out in the field, dead ass night, grabbing up the corn and feeling all right. Get a cob here, get a cob there. I've even got cobs in my underwear. Corn is yellow. But I sure ain't nestled this corn cob beside my tank. <laughs> These guys are saying nothing. <laughs> They're like, all right, man. <laughs> really? What's that? I'm just talking to Julie. Right. Shucking corn at night. It's a real fright. Mm. Corn for days and I'm feeling just right. Bro, you ever heard of the Wallaby Kid? Oh, I surely have. Have you? I surely have. He's about one of the first names that got brought up to me while I was here. Oh, yeah? And what did you think? Have you met it? Have you uh, met the fella? Never met him. I heard he's a dangerous sort. Yeah, there's quite a few of those. Everybody wants to be the big bad boy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, everybody wants to be, what is it, the top dog. But uh, I don't know. I don't really see no point in that. I think that's... Uh, for a lot of people, it's about pride. And in all honesty, I think pride is something that can be tossed aside more often than not. doesn't really fucking mean anything. It happens to be one of them seven deadly sins, pride. It sure does. I ain't no fucking sinner. Well, actually, no, that's, that's not true. I'm definitely a sinner. I've definitely sinned. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't fucking... I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered with egos. I think that's the thing that I don't care about. Humility. That's your thing. Yeah, to some extent, you know. I definitely can be, you know, potty mouthed and, you know, a bit of a bitch and, you know, fucking rude. But I like to believe that, you know, um, my morals sit in a pretty good place. Uh huh. And what about you? What? Where are my morals? Me. 
as I say, my morals was malleable. I certainly have been on the receiving end of prideful men. Prideful men, they don't, they don't do me no kindness either. I tend to let anyone who's got too much pride fall on their own sword. Yeah, that's a good point. But I dabble in all kinds of this and that. I suppose my moral compass post points me in ways that'll benefit me, but as long as it don't come too much harm for others. That being said, mm. there's plenty of harm to be done to people who are just like me, who go whichever the way the, way the wind goes. I would argue there ain't too many paragons of morality that don't deserve nothing bad happening to them. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, one thing that I've learned is that if you don't have a point of view, if you don't have an opinion, then you're not living and you deserve whatever happens to you. You know? I suppose you, so. Yeah, it's more like if you're just a bit of a fucking, you know, leaf in the wind, I mean, that's all well and good, but eventually you have to, you know, believe or stand for something. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad, and there is, you know, that's an objective. But it's just a matter of, you know, getting something and sticking with it and seeing where it goes. I don't think there's any harm in that. You ever had one of your convictions change on you? Oh, absolutely, you know. I'm never going to, you know, stand around and say wholeheartedly that I am right ever because, you know, there's always room to be wrong. And I think that if you're the kind of person who only ever believes that you're right, then, you know, personally, I think you're going to be a bit of a fuckwit. Amen to that. Yeah. So, you know, there's always room to have your morals or convictions change. Should You know, a bit like you, it's good to be malleable. But, you know, nothing wrong with standing firm either. Right. I suppose if you're too malleable, you just, well, you just like mud. And if you mud, people gonna step in you. Exactly. Oh, sorry. All right, how much corn you got? I guess my hands touched yours there a little bit. No, that's all right. Sure, it isn't the first time you've touched a woman's hands. Or if it is, I apologize, because mine feel like, you know, the inside of a dog's mouth, not comfortable at all. I wouldn't say that. Okay, so, uh, next thing we gotta do, pretty straightforward. We gotta get ourselves a little sugar, a little water, and uh, make some mash out of this. All right. Hell, a little sugar. Ro can give us some of that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I actually don't know where we're going. <laughs> Best y'all leave. <laughs> ah, it's just so stupid. Hey, what happened to this fella? Oh, God. Uh, severe bee stings. We are applying a mixture of lard. Too. Hey, I'm, oh, I, I can't well, turkey, how you doing? Turkey, how you doing? I, oh, my God. Hello, Scrump. How are you? I'm all right, partner. Good to see you. <sighs> yeah, good to see you. You done this to this man? The I tried. To, we, the we, had, we got attacked by bees outside of his home, <laughs> and then when we escaped through the swamp, he got attacked by an alligator. And it came for me too, but I scared it off. And then Jesus a guy on a horse Christ. started shooting at us. We ran back from the stay, swamp. Stay here. Dang, you getting into trouble problem. as always, huh? That's your deal. No, no, I'm not getting into trouble. He just asked for some help. It don't look too good. His name is uh, uh, Sin Suerte. It means without luck, so. Yeah, Sin Suerte. I'll, I'll agree to that. Dang, he's all puffed up like a fish. What a life. What a life. To go by stinging and crocodiles and all that. Gators and whatnot. What, uh, what are you up to? Oh, I got a very my... rude lady. Oh, she ain't rude to me. She's mighty fine. Yeah, she's very pleasant on the eyes, but apparently uh, just uh, ugly on the ears. Just because you don't like a lady standing up for herself. She's just rude. I asked her. She hit new medical stuff. She said, no, mate. 
I don't know any medical fucking fuck fuck fuck. Yeah, she Sorry. had a potty mouth on her, but yeah, that's all yeah. right, me. Yeah, for some it's a potty mouth, for some it's a party mouth. <laughs> hey, Turkey, you want to apologize to Miss Rowe? For what? Well, you know. All right. Sassing her out. Come on, man. Right, do something did kind. To me. I didn't I, say anything. I said it behind her back. So oh. do I have to apologize for that? No, you ain't got to do nothing. You're all right. I just I'm just. i sorry make... I said you were rude behind your back. No, that's fine. You're not wrong. Okay. Glad well, damn. That. Look at that. Right. Scrump, I'll let you know if that uh, when that Yeti thing's going on, all right? Oh, please do. I'm yeah, very right. curious oh, about that. Oh, what's our piece of gator bite? Yeah, right. yeah. We just haven't yeah. seen it. I'll I mean, see you later, Turkey. Oh, um, I swear to God. <laughs> Uh, turkey i love turkey uncle's are like my fave right now i fucking love turkey um i i just was told by mr Oglethorpe to tell you that you're very rude god dang uh -huh. it yep yep that's okay. all hold on do you mind if i do something real quick um uh, not at all mm -hmm. go ahead okay can you go to him mm -hmm. and say that he's a squinty eyed fuck okay is there more to it? Do I need to get my notebook out for this or? Nah, just that. I feel like you okay. can remember two words, buddy. Yeah. Squinty-eyed uh, fuck. I think that's three words actually, ma'am. One of them's hyphenated, sir. Oh, okay. Which part? Well, it's squinty in the eyed. That's squinty right. Squinty-eyed. Okay. And uh, you just uh, make sure you call him turkey you at this. the end of that. All right. Oh, sorry, what was yeah. that, sir? I, I could only hear the padding happening on shoulder here make sure you call him turkey at the end of that he'll know turkey. who that's squinty from. eyed fuck turkey okay got it yeah. yeah that'll do it just fine okay cheers why turkey uh long story it's a bit of uh, unsavory so <laughs> it's just a little thing between he and i i just call him turkey you know how it is come on patrick let's go name of your horse is patrick yeah of course I didn't know oh, what gender that. he was when I bought him, so I went with Pat, seeing as how it's neutral. I didn't want to offend him. But when I Please, saw no, the nutsack like on him, he became Patrick. That makes me happy. It's like people who name their dogs, like people names, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, they end up becoming a member of your family. Yeah, like, you know, somebody who's got a, like a dog and it's just called, like, I don't know, Finn got a dog and you call it Barry from finance or something yeah Matilda who works at the accounting department yeah yeah like uh, hold on Bob here. from HR what um it, Mr. Oglethorpe said to tell you that his eyes are um close set but not squinty can you go back to him and tell him I don't give a fuck that's it yep okay and uh, sir did you want to add anything on to that this time Tell him if he's looking for romance, I can have him over at Thanksgiving. Okay. Excuse what? me. Oops, sir. No. Jesus. Why do okay. you want to go with him for Thanksgiving? That's that story I was talking to you about. I well, don't now want... I'm just fucking curious. Well, I don't want to spill his tea, but I will say in some sort of alluding sense that um, he certainly has his familiarity with uh, the gobbles, as it were. First day I met him, he told me about, uh, well, intermediate encounters. Oh. With a turkey? <laughs> Look, it ain't my business. That's his. He want to tell you that he can do it, but every now and then, I see Oglethorpe, I got to tell him turkey. You know, that's his name to me. Right, so from now on, I'll just endlessly remember him as the time that he, you know, decided to stuff turkeys. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he, he wasn't oh, doing sorry, the stuff. Uh, this is a two-parter. Um, okay. Lord, son, so, you gonna spend your whole life being a lackey for that feller? That's what I'm wondering, too. Um, listen, I'm... Spit it out, then. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Um, so first off, man, he <laughs> said, um, he's done with you. Um... Great, I don't give a shit. Okay. And then, uh, for you, sir, he said, um, you better, um... Stop talking about turkeys, <laughs> or he's going to make you the bride of a yeti? I think what? You just tell him, Is this catch, me, long catch me on a full moon, I'm going to be open-minded just as much as he was. Okay. And open-mouthed. Okay. 
Okay, so another two-parter heading back to him. No, actually, okay. hey, son, son. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about what I say. Okay. You just, so, you, just you know, I... enjoy your enjoy your day, sir. What you do? Oh, wow. That's very kind of you, I, I have to say. Uh, what was your name, sir? It's Toggins, Scrump Toggins. Scrump Toggins. Well, sir, I, my name is Clive Garrett. Um, I don't really have a profession besides running back and forth between people. So, hey, a pleasure hey, no, to meet you. No, you and oh, Hey, listen wait, to me, wait, son. Wait. You have a mm -hmm. profession. That's called courier. You can charge courier. 50 cents a message. Now, you got a job oh. title. Welcome uh, to the workforce. Okay. okay, can I collect on the previous messages delivered or? Sure you can, son. Wow. Okay. Um, how many was that again? Uh, two, um, a dollar, I guess. Does that sound reasonable? Sure thing. I just gotta figure I out. I really how to appreciate do. that, Mr. Um, Toggins. Yeah. Thank you so much. Buy yourself a saltwater taffy for that thing. Hell, I bet yes, you get a whole mouthful. Oh, Alright, wow. yeah, I'll pay you for mine. And actually, oh. I'll uh, I'll pay you a bit extra too, because I want you to deliver one last Stop message for me. About your death match. Get over here. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Well, what about oh. y'all? Y'all got any surprises? Um, I don't mind singing, but apart from that. Well, go ahead then. I love me a song. Well, I mean, what are you gonna do for me? I was singing out there in them cornfields. You weren't singing shit. You didn't hear me? Maybe I wasn't singing loud enough. I don't think you was. Hell, you want a sample of my singing right now? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, where, absolutely. Where are we headed? Uh, we are heading to... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. He, he needs hand signals. Near the Emerald Ranch. What, hand signals? Oh, yeah. we're, we're heading uh, everywhere a little bit. A little, uh, little north. All right. You said Emerald Ranch? Sir, you said Emerald Ranch. Uh huh, Emerald Ranch. Hell, off we go. A mighty trio on our little cloppy horses, horses. Going up there to Emerald Ranch. Gonna make some shine and sail it at a store. Drink them up, drink them up, drink them up to shine. Sell them up, sell them up, make them cut the dollars mine. Look at us go, a fancy little trio going up to Emerald Ranch. <laughs> my oh my, that was really something special. Jesus. I told you I was a good singer. And can you believe it? On all that, Ro gonna move up ahead. She didn't even hear a single note. She did not even listen to the tune. That is, that is her loss, though. Well, buddy, that one's just for you and me. Well, I am uh, honored. Pleasure's mine. Everyone, every now and then, you gotta let that. You gotta let the pipes fly. You got, you know, you gotta let them soar. You, you silly goose, you missed my dang song. Why the fuck we use riding so slow? We gotta ride together, you know. All right, fine. I'm practically holding hands. All right, I'm ready for the song. Well, it's gonna be different now. What is it gonna be now? Well. Julius, Julius, I wish you'd turn your head. Julius, Julius, you find us two in bed. Just a sleeping and a laughing and a having a giggly time. Oh, Julius, Julius, you're a friend of mine. Just like that. That one's about I Julius. I have no idea that you had such wonderful feelings of wanting to be in bed with Julius. No, no, he's going to look back at us. We's in bed. Oh, you and I are in bed. I don't know. Me and the other person in the song, I guess. Don't have to be you. We're playing chess. Yeah, we playing chess. Playing checkers. I'm I probably playing like solitaire. You know me. Yeah, solitaire. Yeah, yeah. Playing go fish. 
Well, tip for tat on the song train. Come on, choo choo. Okay. Uh. Oh shit. Um. <laughs> hey cowboy, with the look in your eyes, need a lipstick stain on your whiskey eyes. Hey cowboy, how you doing tonight? No place downtown with a vacant sign. So giddy up, cowboy, if you're down the ride. Cause you can keep your boots on if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you don't- you made a turn on me! <laughs> He made a dang turn on me. I told you to use hand signals. I know. I'm sorry, it was on me. I didn't use the fucking turn signals. I'm God. so sorry. No, you ain't. You sobble. You sobble as hell. God dang. <laughs> <laughs> Scrap targets. He's so tough. If you're looking to make some money, I ain't scared to shoot a man. That kind of rough and tumble types. Just my bag. 